welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be trying some fun baking science by baking some banana bread. I have all of the different ingredients that we need in order to make our banana bread batter, including two eggs at room temperature, one stick of softened butter, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, two cups of all-purpose flour. You'll want to measure out one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and here we have our bananas, which I've already mashed up. I have mashed up seven bananas. The recipe calls for six. I have used seven every time I've made it. I think that it adds more moisture, but it's up to you. And then lastly, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So we'll start by creaming our butter and our sugars together. You'll want to add your butter to your bowl. I happen to have my grandmother's kitchen aid here, but you can use a any kind of mixer. You can attempt to mix it by hand. I can say that that will require a lot of upper body strength, but it's completely up to you. about three to four minutes until it has a consistency that doesn't have too much um, granulated sugar in it. Now you want to scrape down the sides. Next we want to add our eggs. Once that is all incorporated, next we want to put our bananas and measure out our vanilla to go into the mix. Now we'll mix this for a few more minutes to incorporate the bananas in the vanilla, but you don't have to do it for too long, just so long as the consistency is pretty evenly mixed. So now that that is done, we're going to turn this off. In the meantime, now add our dry ingredients together. So you want to have your two cups of all-purpose flour, your salt, and your baking soda. So we'll measure out a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're going to add our baking soda. So what makes this a fun science experiment is the baking soda. Baking soda is known as sodium bicarbonate, and it is a leavening agent. Leavening agents, like yeast or baking soda, cause batters to rise, and that can either happen through a biological process like yeast, or it can happen through a chemical process like baking soda. Now, baking soda will release carbon dioxide into the dough, which can happen a couple of different ways. It can either happen through a um, reaction with an acid, or it can happen through heat. So when you add something like vinegar to baking soda, it'll foam, and that is the release of that carbon dioxide. Or you can put it into your batter, and then when it goes into the oven, if it is above 180 degrees Fahrenheit, the chemical bonds in sodium bicarbonate will break apart releasing the CO2, which will cause your batter to rise. So you'll see when we put the batter into our tin, it will be quite flat, but by the time we take it out of the oven, it will be quite rounded on the top because that dough has risen. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to our dry mixture, and we want to mix that together before we add in the wet ingredients. So once that is evenly mixed, we'll want to remove this and get our wet ingredients. The reason that we do not mix this with the mixer is because if you actually over mix the dry and wet ingredients, it'll make your banana bread a little more tough. So 
now we've got both of our ingredients in here and we're going to fold in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients a couple of times until it's an even consistency but you haven't over um, mixed it. You should end up with a batter that looks like this. Hopefully we can see it. Um, which should not have any streaks of the dry ingredients in it. It should look all pretty much consistent and it should be pretty thick stuff. So now we are ready for our next step, which is putting it into a prepared pan. So I have here a standard loaf pan uh, and we are going to put all of our batter into it. Uh, this only makes one loaf. So you'll want to prepare this ahead of time, which I've already done using um, baking spray. You can also prepare your pan any way that you prefer, um, but I just use that one. Once you've got all the batter in there, just take your spatula and even out the top. So now we've got our batter in our pan and we are ready to bake. You want to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. And you'll want to check it probably about 10 minutes before 60 minutes is up just to start making sure that you aren't baking a little quicker. Every oven is different. Some bake hotter, some bake a little bit cooler. So keep that in mind and just once you get towards the end of the hour, be checking your bread. It's very easy to overbake banana bread just because it, it gets pretty dark on the sides and you just want to make sure that the inside um, does not overbake. So we're going to put it in now. So now we're going to wait an hour and hopefully once that hour is done, we'll have a beautiful uh, loaf of banana bread to be able to share with family and friends. So we are ready to take our banana bread out of the oven. Uh, it has been baking for an hour and now we get to, to see the results of our hard work. So here is our banana bread, which you can see has risen in the pan because of the sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. So what you want to do now is you want to immediately take this loaf out of the pan so that it doesn't continue to bake in the pan because the metal will continue to be hot for a while. Take it upside down and it should just come right out of the pan. And then you want to put it on to your rack to cool. So there you have it. A beautiful loaf of banana bread ready for you to eat once it's a little bit cooler. I hope you enjoyed this video about banana bread and the wonders of baking soda. And we'll see you next time.